the women in my family fight bears, we are very protective. Generations learning the arts of not falling into the traps we set. The women in my family fight bears, like literal bears, like black bears with like claws and teeth, like bear bears. My grandmother, we call her Julie, built a bed in the greenhouse and set up bear traps on her own so we could protect the chicken coop. I spent childhood summers training to save those chickens because nothing was happening to her children. I mean, chickens. Julie was a collector. Mama says Julie didn't collect things, she collected people. When she passed, we had to have three memorials across state borders. All we did was eat and swap stories from her collection. Like how she wandered down the beach naked with Jane Corey playing some sort of bagpipe. Some days, San Francisco becomes an asphalt desert. Corporations like vultures feed off exploitation. Broken glass from shattered integrity sink into the crevices of the sidewalks like bones swallowed by sandstorms. This concrete consumes more than just debris. Displacement lowers homeless bodies into the belly of San Francisco. Struggle and depression breeding everywhere you look. Cigarette smoke clouding brown and black kids' futures into a gray scale. Their lungs decaying into a darker value than their skin tone. They misplace their youth in San Francisco's fog. Through the thick layer of CO2, you see hatred bloom through flowering fists. Fights between kids who grew up around mean mugs and frowning faces. Two young boys, arms propelled by an airy word. Raindrops of sweat and spit pitter patter on the street surface like a violent storm. This is war at stalemate. Bullets colliding, tanks exploding. Two soldiers shell shocked with elbows locked and in position to clash like samurai cross bushido blades. But rather than for honor, they fight for the dignity of having strong will and stronger shots with power packed punches launching until one falls. What I'm trying to say is these streets turn people against their people. Too emotional to rap to the beats that my friends made, so this shit is handmade like a dystopic tale. Me and Baphomet tango when I feel like Patrick Swayze then ghost in the gradient. Cowboy bebop in a scale of ghost in the shell. I wish they'd notice me for pure poetry, but they don't got the potency. I'm like regular show meeting adventure time. Even Steven's universe couldn't sort Shia out. Wow, how abuse don't just snap twigs. It snaps like Thanos, and half of what was here just ceases to be. Hope my life is half as good as Miss Cicely T. Hope my offspring is still more cryptic than me, but I'm still driving too fast, chasing the future. I'm from the southeastern tip of the city. Where my blackness burns out of the core of the sun, outlining the distance far and wide as it falls onto the water into the darkness of the night. I'm from concrete nursed into soil. T trains that stay delayed, 24 and 44 bus stops that portal my escape until April in Hard Knocks Cafe. My bureau of blackness in Third Street leads the way. I'm from corner stores located on every corner of every street. The Bayview Opera House that stands high on its own two feet. Jolie Gym where minds go to dream. 100% college prep where dreams become reality. I'm from beauty personified. Beauty that's been undermined, limited to the southeastern tip of the city when it's the core of my universe because my blackness burns straight from the core of the sun. Me just been stuck in a rut, I guess. Me dust the rot gut off the funk I bless. Remember how I used to run this mess? No gun, no deal, no funds, I must confess. Confused or just disillusioned, I'm less. I'm running game on things that numb my stress. The sum of pain ingrained is hung on flesh. Obsession with the way my lungs contest with ill. <laughs> The old definition is nil. We cannot question the real, reaching for metaphor still like speaking semaphore. Wave the white flag. Escape to where? Pandemic made the price tag irrelevant. So what the fuck I do with all these gold chains? Melt them down. Drink them all out the bowl, man. I was about to buy me a ball man. Now I rock cotton pajamas all day. Yes, 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 yes. So welcome, one and all. Welcome, one and all. Shout out to Erzabek Gonzalez, Javen Jariah, Davi Diggs, Benjamin Earl Turner for blessing the space. That was uh, the, the blessing of the griot, the calling of the griot where we uh, light up the room with the light of voices, uh, spirits, 
intention and truth from alumni and uh, current participants uh, in the great organization that we call You Speaks. We are gathered here today to celebrate 25 years of the organization You Speaks to come together to secure 25 more. My name is Mark Bamuti Joseph. I'm one of the uh, founding staff members um, of You Speaks. I have the great privilege of working with not only a long legacy of folks who care about the next generation and have devoted their lives to stewarding literacy uh, in that realm, um, but also I've had the great privilege of seeing thousands upon thousands upon thousands of young people discover voice, publicly present that voice, uh, and go on to literally change um, the world, not only through their voice and through their diplomacy, not only through their politics, but just their integrity. You Speaks is an extraordinary organization, and tonight we join you in the goal of raising $50,000 to match an anonymous gift and help us meet our overall 100,000 goal for this kickoff to 25 years of igniting young people's narratives and movement towards change. Uh, you did hear me right. Someone somewhere believes in You Speaks Enough that they put $50,000 on the table. That is a matching gift, which means every dollar that you donate tonight is worth two. And we're going to do that by texting YS25 to 41444. That's right. So the number is 41444. You're going to text YS25, and then you'll get the prompt. Um, you should know that $10,000 tonight ensures that our trained poet mentors hold weekly workshops in partnership with teachers in public schools all over the Bay Area. During the pandemic, these workshops were a lifeline for young people who lost access to their mentors, their friends, jobs, everything to support their mental health and well-being. Well, we at You Speaks plan to continue offering online writing workshops as we expanded our reach across borders. We built a global community in conversation. We connected those young people through the pandemic. Um, throughout the show, you're going to see donation screens. These screens let you know all the ways that you can help. From your desktop, you can scan the QR code uh, in the corner over here, um, right here. It's backwards right here. Scan that QR code with your phone. You can also text to make a donation. Again, YS25 to 41444. If you don't have your credit card with you and you are registered with Eventbrite, we'll follow up with you. So let's do this, y'all, because, you know, let's face it. We are constantly being bombarded with disinformation. Um it is safe to say that maybe we are collectively hurtling towards several alternative futures at once because we are emanating from several alternative presents at once because there's so many of us that are living in uh, different realities. Well, the reality that I want to live in is the reality that is spoken into being by the young people of the Bay Area, the young people all over the world through Brave New Voices, and the young people that are stewarded and supported by the extraordinary organization You Speaks. So uh, I think we're about to queue up uh, a film by the great Jamie DeWolf that'll uh, help us uh, understand the legacy of You Speaks even more. Max, let's cut to uh, Jamie's film. They said allowing youth to say whatever they want was dangerous that their faces belong behind books instead of microphones. They were wrong. They said it wasn't safe for young people to speak out against injustice. That it puts them in harm's way. We couldn't disagree more. This world managed to teach guns how to sing our song and my song is fading. We are in a state of emergency. How do you talk about it when the language is rooting against you? Teachers pushed back when we taught Tupac over Shakespeare. Said we should stick to classics. So we made new ones. <laughs> this skin, this hair, this voice too loud, too smart, too much, too much to say. I never knew how to bend my back. So I guess I'll keep writing these poems till I break. They asked, 
How big can poetry get? And doubted us when we booked an opera house for a slam. It sold out. They thought spoken word wasn't an art, that it was a fad. We took it to the White House. Every time they doubted the power of youth, we helped prove them wrong. For the past 25 years, youth have made the pen pierce, the page preach, and the stage sanctuary, paving a new path and letting the naysayers play catch up. But even with the barriers we've broken, time to take up more space. Celebrate 25 years of Youth Speaks and help us plan for 25 more. It's true. It is true. It is true. Youth Speaks is moving into a new home. Now, I can tell you because I was there when you speak started, there was a, a home office in the home of the founder of uh, you speaks, James Cass. And there was the trunk of my Mazda 626 and that those two locations, the spare room in James's crib and uh, the very messy trunk of my uh, probably like 1995 probably maybe 1989 Mazda 626. That was the office. So here we are 25 years later, and we are moving into a new space, which, as you know, in the Bay Area is just an extraordinary feat. Even as You Speaks has grown over these years, the rent has been high, yo. So now with partnering with First Exposures to share space at a low rate, more of the money we raise tonight will go directly to programs. Also, shout out to all the wins this time out. Shout out to defying the odds. We had youth cussing at slams 25 years ago. True pioneers. And that's what Youth Speaks is about. It's creating space for youth to take it up. Like the video said, it's time to take up more space. And um, what Youth Speaks is doing is institutionalizing itself in space in the great city of San Francisco. We know how impossible that is. So we want to make sure, y'all, tonight, that we donate to you speaks, we secure the space for the next generation, we de- continue to find the odds, we continue winning. Please donate while watching this broadcast so we can uh, reach our goal. All right, next up, we are going to hear from some folks who are part of this 25 year history. You probably have seen them, you probably have heard of them, you're gonna be seeing and hearing a lot more of them on cable television very soon. Youth Speaks, 25 years old. I know that feels like you've done something, but being now 35, let me tell you that you're a child still. You know nothing. 25 years old, I didn't know shit. I thought I knew everything. There's still so much to figure out. I'll feel that way again in another 10 years. Um, but I just wanted to say thank you. Uh, I joined You Speaks when I was um, 14. I was a freshman in high school at Berkeley High. Mark Mamuti Joseph, James Cass, Paul Flores, Joni, like we, Jason Mateo. Um, these were the people that were just beginning to form an organization that we would do meetings of, at, at, at La Pena in Berkeley because there wasn't an office yet. And already these young leaders were looking at kids like me and a lot of my peers, a lot of my close friends I've, I'm still close to and, um, and giving us permission to have a voice in a, in a, in a time where otherwise none of that was happening. And I, I felt very lost and I was on a very, very troublesome path. And, um, and You Speaks gave me a, a home and told me I could be an artist um, and that has stuck with me for my entire life as it has become my career and my life's work um, because of the work of, of very underpaid nonprofit leaders. Uh, so um, I just want to say 
uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. You speak for being, um, for persevering through all that it takes to run a nonprofit. I worked there for seven years, so I know the grind is crazy hard, but the impact that y'all have on young people cannot be uh, overstated. It, it's transformative and it continues to be true every day in my life. Um, and, and in the lives of so many of, um, of my peers and mentees and mentors. Um, so anyway, thank you so much. I got to get back to working on blind spotting, uh, the TV show about the Bay, which I'm doing with my boy Davi Dix, who's also a You Speaks alum. Uh, and I got to then call one of our writers and cast members, Benjamin Earl Turner, who's uh, also a You Speaks alum, uh, because that's how we do in the Bay. If you came up through You Speaks, much love. Peace, y'all. Yo, what up, Speaks fam? Um, uh, my name is Benjamin Earl Turner. I'm a, a U Speaks alum, um, and I pretty much uh, got to move through every facet of of the Speaks, um, from being a participant coming all the way out from Antioch to hear people like Isaac Miller and Terry Taplin spit poems. Um, to forming lifelong friendships, uh, to, you know, meeting the current collaborators and, and mentors that I have today. Um, I think one of the things about You Speaks that was so true for me is that, you know, um, iron sharpens iron. And so being in a space where what was being sharpened wasn't just our skills as writers, um, but our sort of moral and ethical codes, our understanding of of the world and the value of voice and language, um, the value of pedagogy and practice, the value of um, practice and ultimately poetry, right? Um, so I think in, in all these ways, uh, You Speak sort of stands out as, as this giant... Um, in my life, right? It stands out as, as this this moment that really just took um, took somebody who like had a lot of hope around a particular thing, around art, and sort of infused it with a lot of possibility. Um, and for that, you know, I think you speak sort of remains this very capable and potent vessel for for that work right to infuse in young people possibility um and for that i'm ever i'm, I'm forever grateful uh shout out to the speaks shout out to joni i love you the most you're the best and um watch blind spotting i know that's a terrible plug but i had to plug you feel me we out here watch blind spotting coming out june 13th um and ride for it you know what i mean we we, we making this we making this bay thing happen in a major way and uh, y'all are great. Youth Speaks, what up? Okay, 25 years, man. All right, if as an organization you're anything like how I was at 25 years old, you're about to get together with all of your friends and pool all of your money on a studio space in downtown Oakland so that these other rappers can finally start taking you seriously. And then uh, you and Rafael Casal will treat each other to Eminem McFlurries every night, which you'll pay for with a credit card because you ain't got no money because you spent it on the studio. And also you work at Youth Speaks, which is, that's hella meta. Anyway, happy 25 years. The struggle continues, right? I love mush y'all I was I was muted and that's probably for the best because I was just going on this little soliloquy about how much I love the people uh, that I love and 
y'all were spared some of uh, the mushiness. But uh, I was just going off about Joni and Sam and Mush and Shanaka and Biko, Jason, Rocco, Shinedu, Tim Arevalo, Melinda. I was just going off about all the people um, that I've met over time at You Speaks that have meant so much uh, to me that have testimonials just like Raphael did, just like Benjamin Earl Turner did, just like David did. Um, there are scores of young people who have been impacted, and those three in particular, those three fellas, uh, you know, thinking about their trajectory and thinking about what verse has meant and how they've transformed um, the idea of verse in the public imagination. Certainly uh, what Raphael and David uh, did with the film Blind Spotting and now the television series Blind Spotting, what folks like Shanaka and Mush and Lauren Whitehead and countless others, Ice Life, Paul Flores, what countless others were doing, um, bringing verse to the theatrical stage. Joan Osato, who got shouted out by um, Ben Turner, has been the producer of all this verse in theater. And so, you know, the, the truth is, is that, um, you know, you don't have a Hamilton. Not only do you not have um, David, but you don't have a show like Hamilton unless you have an organization like You Speaks. You, you don't have the constant transformation of the language unless you have the not only the poets that I named earlier, but a home to kind of, as Ben said, you know, that that iron that sharpens iron. And you all are clearly responding, fam, because I have just gotten word that the donations are coming in in a flurry and we are now at $46,000, $46,000 donated tonight. That is incredible. Um, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We can keep going. We keep going. I want to remind you that you can scan the QR code with your phone to make a donation, or you can text YS25 to the number 41444. That's happening. The QR code there, and well, y'all see it. Y'all see it. Do the thing. All right. $5,000, I need to let you know, supports our very own Bay Area Slam team to compete at our annual Brave New Voices Festival. I'm one of the co-founders of Brave New Voices. It has been good trouble in all the best ways for years and years and years. BNV is our signature international celebration of the power of transformation, connection, and community. We build it all through sharing our lived experiences at over 70 events over the course of four days in different cities uh, all over uh, the country. And $5,000 supports the Bay Area Slam team at BNV. $2,500 supports our Youth Advisory Board, Spokes, which was co-founded by Tiger Walsh. And Jason Mateo, I was there to see it. Um, Spokes, which my son, Makai, was a, a member of Spokes in his uh, teenage years as a member of You Speaks. Trippy to say that. But Spokes convenes monthly over the course of an academic year um, as a group of youth program participants. Spokes hosts and facilitate open mics and events, advise regularly on You Speaks programming to ensure that they are always, that that organization is always centering youth and the experience as um, the organization continues to design programs and events. So you've heard from a lot of alumni, but let's take it back to the current participants, to the current electricity in the organization. Next up, we have a youth in You Speaks who is also part of Spokes. Folks, Zoo Hair is straight out of West Oakland and is also a fire ass MC. He recently was published in You Speak's latest anthology. Uh, the anthology is called Between My Body and the Air. You should go to youspeaks.org, cop that immediately. Uh, without further ado, please give it up for Zoo Hair. What's up with y'all? My name's Zoo, I'm from West Oakland. Shout out to you, Speaks, the 25 year anniversary, keeping it rolling, you feel me? 
and it's the many more years. After Nikki Giovanni, ego tripping. Something I ain't too good at. If I was a superhero, I'd make sure my whole section eating. Slide through the hills with a ski, I'm Robin Hood redirecting karma bulletproof to make up for this body turned hollow vase. Well aware of how fragile thick skin becomes when met with lead, my fingers spilt hot chata from four eight stick in the money I hand out stocks instead of glocks. My eyes, surveillance cameras always on my ten, my flesh, a magnet for hot shit with my feet. Quick as ever, last week I juked a close call, ran three blocks in five seconds, my partner said if he don't turn sharpshooter, every hood baby turn track star when them shots pop off. I'm superhuman by way of war zone. Good intuition paired with trust issues, I'm from beyond this solar system. Walked through space a few times, this is when I fell in love with life. Now I can only find bliss in the vast unknown I'm air. Heavy with pressure on my chest and evasive as fuck I'm history. From the Nile River malaria in my mama's bloodstream to the single mother hustle she passed on to me while pregnant. I'm so called parental neglect. My father taught me how to vanish from thin air. I'm a tree by water. I sway with the wind but stand tall in stature. I'm an earthquake. Maintaining solid ground but beneath the surface my hands shake. I'm Never standing still, always carrying tensed up shoulders and balled up fists. Today I realize I feel most at peace when ready to fight. Asked my brother if I'm paranoid or crazy, he said we bleed PTSD. I misdirection paired with dedication. My bad habit was stealing shit when I was young. And thus far I've devoted my whole life to being in statistics. In pursuit of a dream I found between inner peace and economic prosperity. Diagnosed poor when my mama had me, I can show you what a child soldier looked like. A youngin struggling to wave a K the size of his torso, a drum on it, he not afraid to bang, a smile on his face, twisted as ever, I'm the land of stolen youth. Where fun often involves bullets. I'm quiet pain when my auntie grabs my hair, weaves it into her image, a beautiful art piece that stains my scalp with love. My closest friend only tags along on my loneliest nights. I refer to him as nostalgia, an extension of the past I don't miss. Taught me to fall in love with silence before I ever touched a video game. Well, I could never be a superhero, and I never bonded well with kids my age. Lesson number one coming out of Oakland. Never be Captain Saver Blink. Understand anybody can fill that space. I follow this principle to a degree of self-alienation. Mainstream media would only see it fit to paint me as a villain. I'm shattered glass westbound. Around Christmas time, my snow falls from car windows, a testimony to true desperation, a vow to get it by any means necessary, but we call it bipping. I'm where two paths meet, the intersection off Adeline and West Grand. OG told me he done seen one too many casualties and neglect where I'm standing. I told him I too. Young as hell, still walking from MLK witness. My cousin's legs snap like twigs when bumper met child, met airtime, met pavement over there on 18th Street. I'm the words on my paper. Found comfort in the hug of a page over and over and over again. I'm Princess Powell's addiction poem. My pen and I grew inseparable. If you truly want to reach me, speak to me through art or dollar sign. Understand my conversion theory of emotions to phrases. I don't comprehend basic interactions or I don't try hard enough. Maybe that's the thing. I'm too many things, all of which lead to an ultimate goal in the words of Mac Dre. I'm a lot of people, and they all trying to get paid. Fam, uh, uh, here's the worst kept secret in You Speaks lore. I cry very easily. But the, but I, I actually don't cry a lot in kind of my walking life. Um, generally, the way that I am most broken open is inside of a workshop hearing um, young people 
discover something new. A lot of times it's the words themselves. It's, it's words like my father taught me how to vanish in thin air. It's words like I'm most at peace when I'm ready to fight. It's, it's words like, um, I've devoted my whole life to being a statistic. A, a lot of times it's the words, but um, mostly it's the experience of finding someone at a critical inflection point in their own life's trajectory, break open and find something new. And if you've been to a You Speaks open mic, if you've been to a spokes meeting, if you've been to a workshop, let alone gone to the You Speak Slam, the Grand Slam finals, if you've been to Curiosity, if you've been to Bring the Noise for MLK, if you've been to Brave New Voices, you've had that experience too of hearing the product of hours and hours of process. You've had the experience of the pedagogy in action, of the ethical codes and practices in action. But I got to tell you, it, it, yeah, it's the words. Um, but it's the experience of finding, of life finding a way, life continuing to find a way and the emotion that that draws out. Clearly, you guys uh, um, are responding and I appreciate it. We are at the point where we have now raised fifty one thousand three hundred and seventy five dollars tonight. We are moving closer and closer to our one hundred thousand dollar goal with our fundraiser right now. Keep those donations coming by scanning our QR code, texting YS two five two four one four four four. You should know that a thousand dollars creates opportunities for all of our workshop participants to submit their original work. And this year during the pandemic, we paid over 40 poets for their submissions to the unified anthology Beyond My Body and, uh, and the Air. Um, this original work features the voices and poems of an international collection of young writers as they share their thoughts, dreams, and ch challenges during COVID-19 and our collective demand for racial justice. If you are able in these difficult times to contribute $500 to You Speaks, you should know that you are directly supporting an emerging poet and You Speaks alum to create new work and share their lived experience with our broader community. With that said, we are here to ensure that moments like this do not stop, that words like this prevail, that truth being spoken becomes the standard. So I wanna introduce you to one of the masterminds of securing the new You Speaks space. Um, our very beloved leader, Christy Johnston Limon. This is a home for good. We've just spent over a year isolated in our homes. Never has home meant what it does to me, to us, and to the thousands of young people who call you speaks a home for voice than right now. Yet we came so close to shutting our doors just a year ago like so many, too many of our partners in our community. And here we are, one year later and one block away from where Youth Speaks began 25 years ago to anchor in this 127 units of affordable housing through the power of the arts, the power of story, and the power of us. We are building a space for the next 35 years to call home with our partner First Exposures as an intergenerational hub for storytelling for mentoring, performance, events, and everything you can imagine we will want to do together when we come out of isolation. Our movement, led by Youth Voices, knows no bounds. This past year, Youth Speaks built and is part of a global community of young people demanding justice, demanding change, and unafraid to speak out about it. This, this is a home for voice. This is a home for truth. This is a home for artists and educators and a place for young people to be themselves, unapologetically. This is a home for good, for Youth Speaks, and this is a home for you. So what does building a home for good mean to you? For us, it means creating a brave and safe space for young people and this community to come together, to create, to build, and to move our vision for collective liberation forward. Join us 
by making a donation that is personally meaningful to you as we build this powerful home for Youth Speaks and the next 35 years of advancing social change together because this generation speaks for itself. Super dope, super dope, super dope. Y'all, think about safety. Think, think about how we are safe together. Think about a place to call home. Think about what it meant to be home, how some of us were secure in our sanctuary spaces, but for others of us, home wasn't necessarily sanctuary. How do we wanna emerge from this time? What new sanctuaries do we wanna build? What new sanctuaries do we wanna build and cultivate for the next generation? That's what Christy, that's what you speaks. That's what the team is doing. They are creating a new kind of sanctuary for youth voice. Uh, couldn't be prouder to be connected to that effort. I just want to um, thank everyone on uh, the board of directors at Youth Speaks um, and their families, their friends, uh, the, the network of folks that support this organization. And thank you, Christy, for your leadership. Um, we continue to rise higher. We continue to get better. We have raised this evening $57,375. It is truly extraordinary what's happening here, um, the way that the belief is materializing uh, in terms of uh, your generosity is truly a sight to behold. We are um, all blessed. I, I mentioned earlier that if you donated as much as $5,000 that you would support our very own Bay Area Slam team to compete at Brave New Voices. Well, uh, our next guest, our, our, our next artist, uh, Jamila Woods, is a product of the Brave New Voices Network straight out of Chicago. This is where we first met her. She's a singer and poet that first met with us there. Um, the beauty of You Speaks is that even though we're getting a new space in San Francisco, we're global. And how folks connect with us at the global level is Brave New Voices. It's our international youth poetry slam. It's a four-day festival where poets from 13 and 19 come and write, learn, perform, compete, network, make friends that literally last a lifetime. Um, Jamila Woods is a phenomenal educator that, uh, that did just that. Um, she's coming out of young Chicago authors. She embodies the ethos of You Speaks by becoming an educator and organizing organizer in, um, uh, in Chicago public schools through YCA. She published her first chapbook, which is called The Truth About Dolls in 2012. And she's had poems published in the anthologies, um, The Breakbeat Poets, New American Poetry in the Age of Hip Hop, uh, Courage, Daring Poems for Gutsy Girls, and The Uncommon Core contemporary poems for learning and living. But she's taken her craft to a much higher level, much like Rafa, David, uh, Shanaka, Ben, Dala, countless others when it comes to music. Uh, she released her breakout debut, Heaven, in 2016 and Kill with Legacy Legacy in 2019. Uh, you should know, uh, not unlike uh, the artists that we heard from earlier who name check Nikki Giovanni, that Jamila's uh, album Legacy Legacy features song titles like Zora, like Giovanni, like Betty, Sonia, Octavia, Baldwin, Eartha, just to name a few. When we talk about the next generation can speak for itself, it is absolutely true. It is also true that the next generation understands legacy, understands continuum. And Jamila Woods is an incredible uh, data point on the continuum of black genius. Please give it up for Jamila Woods. Show me, show me how you do that trick The 
one that makes you love someone The world wants us so numb and alone Show me, show me, show me how you do it The one that makes the winters warm The one where summer never comes I don't wanna run away with you I wanna live our life right here I just wanna fall asleep by you Thank you so much for having us again, and happy 25th anniversary. That is legendary. Um, I remember being uh, in high school and aspiring to be in Brave New Voices, and I never got to perform, but I definitely saw Brave New Voices in Chicago, and it was epic. Saul Williams performed. It's one of my favorite memories. So congratulations to all of you for being a part of such a monumental uh, occasion and um, I want to introduce my band we're going to play a few more songs for y'all um, this is Justin Canavan on guitar Ami on the keys and musical direction and Matthew Skills on the bass and my name is Jamila Woods and um, this next song that we have for y'all is called Eartha and it's inspired by Eartha Kitt I wish. 
wish this wasn't it It's not that I'm bored I just heard it before The space you take up The curve of your learning That's my labor, my love Explaining myself again I could have run a mile instead I could have twist my ends instead I'm laid out in bed Gaslight in my head I said what I said also just want to say shout out to every single poet participating. I know this has been a really difficult year for so many people, for so many of us, and especially for creatives. It could have seemed in the beginning like, oh, you know, a lot of people are encouraging folks to create, create. This is the perfect time. But really just acknowledging the toll that this has taken on so many of us in our mental health and just all of the different layers of what we have to deal with every day. I just congratulate y'all for continuing to create. And I hope that you've also continued to reflect on, you know, what it is that you need. Maybe you need rest sometimes. Maybe you need to be listening or reading or, you know, not always outputting sometimes. And that's totally okay too. Um, I'm going to share a poem um, that's kind of about that because I was reflecting on uh, just time passing and how that's gotten really wonky over this past quarantine and just allowing myself um, permission to feel whatever I'm feeling. And this is the soul poem that I wrote last year. Um, So again, I super admire all of you for continuing to create in this time. This poem is written after Nazim Hikmet and it's called Day 29. It's April 13th, 2020, my mother's 60th birthday. And I'm sitting on the couch from my old apartment in my new apartment. And pigeons' wind chimes are loud outside my window. I never knew I liked wind chimes. I think mom used to have some outside her office. She had tabletop fountains and hunks of amethyst crystals the size of my face. I used to hate how she made us meditate, learn Reiki on the weekends. Now I'm calling her every other day for the new old remedy. I hate how much I cared about being cool when I was younger, carrying mom's Tupperware and brown paper bags, wishing for a Lunchable, something disposable with a subtler scent. Now I'm ecstatic to see Tupperware stacked in my fridge, the luxury of leftovers instead of chopping another onion. I used to lie in bed on Sunday evenings wishing for a whole week of weekends. Now I forget what day it is and still feel I'm running out of time. I never knew I hated washing my hands this much. I sing love on top while scrubbing to make sure I hit 20 seconds. My sister hears me singing and asks if I am happy. No, I say, I'm just counting. Thank you. This last song we're going to play is inspired by the legend herself, Toni Morrison. It's called Sula Paperback. Save me. 
wanna make some babies Running out of time for waiting Freedom and triumph They weren't meant for me Girls of my color Find something else to be I'm better, I'm better, I'm better, I'm better so much brave new voices hope to see y'all next time happy 25th anniversary y'all <laughs> how angelic how celestial how perfect to close our evening Jamila thank you for your gift thank you for the generosity of your time and your spirit uh, thank you for being a part of the constellation of stars this evening uh, from Zuhair to uh, David um, just all across the map and all the folks that you didn't see Max and Joan 
uh, Josh, all the folks that you don't see that make this great organization um, what it is and make space and landscape for these great artists to shine the way that they do. Why don't we take one last look at how much money uh, we've raised tonight? Holy moly, fam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight, through you, because you paid attention to the Q, uh, the QR code, because you texted YS25 to 41444, tonight we raised seventy. $6,575. That is really, truly extraordinary. Um, if you haven't given yet, you still can scan the QR code. You still can make a donation by texting YS25 to 41444. All of your don donations support an organization that's dedicated to engaging young people authentically, centering their lived experience unapologetically, and catalyzing us all to advance justice, equity, and a more peaceful society. Y'all, thank you for all. Thank you to all the performers. Thank you to all the youth who participated in this incredible evening. Not only was I entertained, um, but I, I feel like I was uh, reminded of the kind of world that I want to live in. I was reconnected, and I hope all of you all who are watching tonight were also entertained and came together to make sure that the next generation can speak for itself. My name is Bamuti. Much love to you. See you on the other side. Peace.